back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's video, I wanted to create another something that's a little bit fun and a little bit different, and I wanted to put it in the creative astrology playlist. I'm getting that playlist cranked up again this year. Last year I did the song series. This year we're going to have a couple of bits, and then I've got another potential series which is coming up, so stay tuned. But today it's the end of my day. <clears throat> I've had quite a busy day, quite a chopping sort of things unexpected and oh I have to do this now and oh, I have to do that now and today as a result is a bit disorganized and it's a little bit messy but we're in the creative astrology playlist so I can relax and have fun and I can kind of brainstorm with you okay that's the feeling that I want to have in this video that you know we're brainstorming together we're having a bit of fun we're exploring this beautiful language of astrology and we're doing some creative things with it so in the title that I've got jotted down on my screen it's a working title again I don't know what's going to publish but I've got at the moment if I conducted a symphony of stars I would dot 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 hmm this is interesting what do I mean by this where do I want to go with this okay so yesterday or the day before I kind of had this idea that like you see because of the work that I do now, I work on my own, seemingly, right? I work on my own, um, you know, I work from home, I, uh, for the majority of time, except for when I work for the clinic where, you know, I'm in London one or two days a week, a month, sorry, um, I'm always doing this, basically, uh, except for the bits I have to do in London. But like, I'm usually at home, I'm on my own, and I'm making videos and I'm doing readings and I'm writing a little Instagram post this that whatever and I was thinking but I'm not on my own and I had this innovative weird thought that like because okay this this is the other place where it comes from as well I should have that that book is in my handbag anyway it's called I think it's called the power of the subconscious mind by Joseph Murphy and my mum has encouraged me to read that book again. She said, pick it up, read it. One of the things she told me was that in order to create your reality and in order to create your life, you kind of have to command the universe. You have to tell the universe what you want. You have to ask or you have to say, look, this is what I want to create or this is what I want to do. So all these planets that are circling, they are kind of waiting for us to give them an instruction, right? So I started thinking that, okay, I'm running this business and you could see it in this way as well. You could see it that like you could employ the stars to do work for you, right? This is a bit weird, but go with me, okay? Or what I, what I prefer was this concept of if I conducted a symphony of stars. So if I was the conductor, so the conductor decides a lot of things if you think about it all the instruments are there you got the violins and you got the harp and you got the clarinets and you got the trumpets and you got everybody there and the conductor is the one that stands basically at the front in the middle and he gives the music he says right well we're, we're creating this we're going to do this piece we're going to bring this to life and he does a bit of fine tuning he's kind of like okay violins i want you to quiet down all right trumpets i want you to you know, pipe up a bit and, and like this, he's kind of conducting and creating. So I started thinking that if I conducted a symphony of stars, what would I do? And maybe I am doing that. Maybe I am doing that right now. So I'm going to use me as an example, as a guinea pig, and then I want you guys to try the exercise with your life. So I will jot down a few things that I thought um, so we've got the sun here and I'm just gonna, we're gonna have the, okay, we've got Jupiter. So I'm going to draw little Jupiter, little Jupiter, big Jupiter, sorry. <laughs> Jupiter. Then I want to have, I think I jotted down Venus and Mercury. Okay. I want to have those two beautiful Venus and Mercury. The antenna. Oh, cool. 
I always think that when uh, Mercury's in Pisces, as it was for Einstein, you know, the ability he had to draw, I kind of see the antenna, like they're actually pulling the ideas. It's just incredible. I love seeing when people have Mercury in Pisces. It's very powerful. Uh, so we've got Venus plus Mercury. And then I wanted to put Saturn and Moon together, didn't I? Yes, I did. So we got Saturn and Moon. Saturn Moon. And then we've got I've got blank space here. This is embarrassing, but I'll be honest. I haven't assigned very much to this this beautiful planet that I um, need to get in touch with more. Mars. All right. So let's have a look. What have we got here? We've got we got all these. Sun, Jupiter, Venus, Merc, Saturn, Moon, Mars. So what I decided to do was if I'm conducting a symphony of stars, how am I going to employ them? And, and how am I doing it now? So we, we are using me as an example. So let's use me and the business that I'm running now, which is this exact business, Vedic Life Coaching. So I use the sun. In these videos I put the Sun to use I say all right Sun we're gonna make a series of videos and the Sun's all excited and oh great yeah great use me in that way perfect that's what I love to do I want to perform I want to be on the camera I want to perform okay Sun you're busy you're occupied how am I using Jupiter well of course I'm employing Jupiter in a big way Jupiter is the one when you book me for a reading uh, Jupiter speaks to you I think quite a bit and I think his energy is quite present there. Um, definitely with the counseling, coaching work that I do, the readings, um, you know, any follow up work that I do, any of that, Jupiter is very present there. And I've been in a big long Jupiter Mahadasha where I've read and consumed a small library of self help books. So, uh, and of course, some, you know, towards the end of that Mahadasha, yes, astrology books for sure. So, so. There's a lot of uh, information there, and I've definitely been employing Jupiter for a long time in that capacity. Now, Venus and Mercury, I've decided I'm going to pair these two, and, and how you do this, you can do this any which way, right? This is just a fun exercise. This is just to get thinking, right? So um, Venus and Mercury, I'm pairing them up, and I'm saying, okay, you guys, I know you like to get the graphics tablet out. I know you love Photoshop. So why don't you guys do Instagram? And I've got a little Instagram feed on my uh, website. It's the only one I do. I don't do Facebook. I don't do Twitter. Um, but Venus and Mercury, they love little bursts of Instagram, little bursts of creativity, right? Because it's a, these fast moving, you know, fast bits of beauty just coming out on the Instagram there. So they're employed. They're happy. And now this is where this idea comes from because my Saturn has been a bit bored, I think. My Saturn's been a bit, all right, well, all these other planets, you know, okay, you're doing your videos and you're doing your Instagram and you're doing your coaching. and But there's been a gap. There has been a gap. And last week I came up with, and I've got it jotted down on my, um, on, it was a scribbled thing on, on, stuck on the wall there. And uh, I'm going to do a book. And I'm hoping to have this book, and I don't particularly want to talk about it, but it aids this video. But I have in my mind, you see, and this is why I don't want to talk about it, because I'm hoping that in my mind by the end of this year, I'll have it ready and I'll be able to share it with you, right? So um, I've got a little book project going as well. And I, and I feel like Saturn and Moon are happy because... I'm going to need the moon. I'm going to need the mind. I'm going to need... And moon, Mercury is a typical rider combination. But if you've got Saturn, you can go the distance and you can do a long project. And, you know, the Saturnian side of you, it might feel bored. It might feel like, well, yeah, everyone else is having a good time, but what am I doing? Right? So you have to feed it. You have to give it a project. And then it'll settle down. So I've given Saturn a nice long project to do. And I'm hoping, I mean, I'm hoping it'll be done by the end of the year. Now, Mars, I have a question mark. Uh, I don't know about my Mars. I, I have an interesting Mars. 
I have, and, and one of you out there knows this, I have revealed this to one of you, one of my wonderful clients uh, who's in Canada, and you know that I, I have actually personified my Mars. It, I see him as Karl Lagerfeld because he lives in the fifth house and he's old. He's 29 degrees, right? So to me, that's Karl. And he's kind of maybe the creative director of this whole thing. I don't know. Um, but, you know, we can do that. We can personify our planets. We can see them in different ways. We can, you know, and we can do this. We can go, right, okay, um, for this project, I want sun. Okay, I want you to do this. Uh, Jupiter, I'm engaging that aspect of, you know, myself, right? Uh, I'm going to pair up Venus, Mercury. Maybe you might want to pair up Venus, sun, maybe. And you want to, um, I would see Venus, sun as very athletic, thing you know and maybe you want to add some athleticism to what it is you do or you're running a salsa business or something I don't know you know I mean there are so many combinations and ways we can pair these up and employ these and I think when it comes to our free will we can definitely do that we can decide that you know well I want to I want to create this and I'm going to employ all these aspects of myself and, and get them doing X, Y, Z. So that's just an idea for you guys uh, to try out and see how you like it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think that this is an interesting concept. I, I think this is really interesting and it, for me it came out when I had the book idea which was last week. I was at a cafe and this idea came and I was just like, yes. I totally want to do that. And it's kind of bonkers in addition to all the things I've got going on. But it's like it's a slow burn project that's going to take forever to do anyway. And Saturn needs that. Saturn needs a long project to sink his teeth into, right? So think about that. Think about, you know, what parts of you are a bit idle and maybe you need to feed them with an appropriate project. So if it's Mercury that's a bit idle, feed him with some kind of short burst or you know, um, something where he can, uh, excellence, somewhere where he can, you might want to put Mercury Saturn together and develop excellence in something over a very long period of time. You know, there's lots of different ways that you can employ the planets, regardless of how they fall in your chart. Okay, and maybe you use that information of how they fall in your chart to aid you uh, in terms of you know, what you assign or what you create. So I really hope this has been just a fun little creative, unusual, different idea, food for thought. You know, there's no precision here. There's no accuracy. This is just we're brainstorming together, right? So um, I hope that's been a bit of fun and I look forward to seeing you next time.